When you uh, were enticed into the Wicker Man, did you really know what you were getting into? Uh, I think so, because uh, when I read the script, I realised that it was in its own way a masterpiece. And I think I can say that in a sense, it was actually written for me, which is very rare in an actor's life. It was so witty. It was so appealing. I defy any actor not to accept that role. It's the best picture that I've ever been in. I don't say it's the most successful. I don't say it's the most important. I simply say it's the best film I've ever been in. <clears throat> it's not a horror movie. Uh, it's been described as the Citizen Kane of horror films, which I think is nonsensical, quite frankly. It's not a horror movie. It's a horrifying film, because there's a great deal of laughter and love and romance, uh, eroticism, um, joking, everything in it. Everybody's charming. That's what makes it so alarming at the end, rather like Rosemary's Baby. But the ending that we had, which is horrifying, is the only logical ending possible yeah, but there was in discussion the sense of the that, story. But in the sense of the story, you cannot have any other ending. I'll never forget when we saw the film, the first time in the projection room, British Lion. I went up to the office of the managing director of British Lion <coughs> and um, he said, what do you think of it? And I said, well, you know, I think it's a magnificent film. I said, there's, there's a lot of stuff missing which I, I would like to see back personally. And he looked up at me, he didn't get up, of course, when my wife came into the room, and he said, I think it's one of the ten worst films I've ever seen. There was a kind of a built-in uh, negative approach, which, if carried to its conclusion, would have meant that the film would never have been seen, ever, by anyone.